the past couple of years, the casino revenue, the gaming revenue, has not met expectations. And of course, that hinges on regional and national economics. And that is, if uh, folks aren't doing well economically, if they don't have uh, some disposable income, then they're not traveling. And we're a tourist destination, and we count on people traveling here to visit and helping them spend their money. Uh, so it's, it's important to understand that to some degree, the gaming revenue, uh, or to a significant degree, the gaming revenue is not within our control. What is within our control is that when folks come down to visit and they're at a casino or they're staying at a local hotel or motel, that there is enough um, diversity in entertainment and in dining uh, to, to help them leave their dollars in Biloxi. So uh, gaming is kind of the, the elephant in the room uh, and we need to become more diversified so that the elephant is a little smaller. It'd be great to have uh, a number of small elephants in the room instead of one big elephant in the room. But in order to do that, we've got to get people down here. And that's why I think the baseball stadium, for example, is a good investment in the future. Uh, I've heard all the doom and gloom. I can't help but be, be optimistic about it opening and doing well the first several years. And I think that will give us the impetus to push development north up Kivet Street and uh, northeast in the Beaumarchais or downtown area. Uh, we're seeing a little bit of that now, and um, I think we'll see more of it in the future. I think it's going to be a good thing. But gaming revenue, when the economic times pick up, when the economy's good, we see more people travel, more people come down to Biloxi to play, have fun. They'll have more things to do than they've had uh, had in the past to do, and I think we'll see them staying an additional night and leaving a few more dollars with us, and that's a good thing.